Fantastic Gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose But Fantastic Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here and as you can see, we are doing a review of the Castlevania Advance Collection. I bet you're asking yourself, how can you do a review when the game just came out? Have you already beaten all these games? Uh, yeah, actually in the day. <laughs> I've, got, I've killed all these. I get it, Castlevania, zombies, dragons, you kill, okay. But, so what this basically is, we're going to go over this collection in general the features and everything the games are all fantastic the games have been out for a while so these are all classics just Castlevania classics which I I've loved dearly my favorite one as you can see I started here playing Aria of Sorrow I wanted to test it out you can see 924 2021 is the last time I saved it which was actually just a few minutes ago uh, to make sure I don't lose anything. But it starts out on Castlevania Circle of the Moon, and then we go Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, which was really good. But this is my favorite, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. If you guys know the story, it's fantastic. And look at that, Dracula X. Oh, I was very surprised to see uh, Dracula X here. And now each game has its own little subsection you got gallery you have music player you have uh, game version that we'll get into in just a moment but each of the ones as you can see on the bottom of the screen you have select using the the stick a story or return to title now the story allows you to click on it here and gives you when the game came out and the gist of each story so Castlevania Circle of the Moon came out in 2001 Wow I was actually still in high school. I graduated in 02. I'm an oldie. I never thought I'd say that. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. 2002, the year I graduated. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Uh, this was one of the first Castlevanias I played on the Game Boy Advance. I think it was. The, I, I, I played Circle of the Moon afterwards. But it's funny how they changed up the, the logo. This is classic Castlevania. This was the the new version they kind of used. And here we go, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Like I said, my favorite of the lot. And that came out in 2003. The year is 2035 Japan. Uh, 2035, we're not too far away from that now, are we? Back then it was, what, 32 years in the future? Now it's, what... 14 <laughs> Wow and then Dracula X Dracula X is the only oddball here it came out 95 on the SNES as you can see and I was really shocked to see this one but I was really happy that uh, they threw in the extra now gallery you can just pick and that's cool you can see the um, character and I don't I want to call this concept art it's just character art for the multiple games so this is really cool but yeah you can sit here and go through this for a while uh, did it yeah actually it did I just realized that whoa, whoa okay oh that's nifty all right, so music player. Music player is just that. You can pick tracks from the different ones. Such a great game. Such a great soundtrack. Every, this was my favorite Castlevania. Most people don't understand why. They're like, oh, it just feels... It's just... I don't know. It's the one that I stuck with the longest and just... Like, the other ones I played, but this one I played consistent. I didn't play anything else until I beat this game. It's fantastic. Game version. That's cool. Save data cannot be used across different versions. That's a... Eh, I get it, but you got American, European, and Japanese. So... Ah, look at that. 
Circle of the Moon. Oh, that is nifty. I haven't tried that yet. So, European. It, here it's just called Castlevania. Interesting. That is interesting that it was just called Castlevania. It wasn't Circle of the Moon. And wow, vamp Castlevania Vampires Kiss. That's nifty. And then once you play them, of course. Let's jump into one. Let's see if there's any. Okay. Everything else seems to be pretty much the same about this one. Yeah, that, that's the same. So now I'm going to show you here. Let's end this one. Before we jump in any further, I want to show you something else. Let's look at the Japanese version. Uh, game's pretty much the same. You just get Japanese. All right. So we're going to return to... No. Sorry. End game. Something else I want to show you guys, which I think is really nifty. Let's go back to the American version. So these are all the features. We're going to stick with Aria just because I know it so well. Now, at the top, you can see the little shaky font. You've got uh, Game Start, which is Plus, and Pause Menu, which is ZL. But if you hit the ZL, it, you, you're given this Options Menu. You can save replay, which I really think is nifty. Um, you've got your screen settings. The screen settings is where most people are going to get into it, a little controversy about it. And uh, just here is your standard you you got as you can see previously you got your standard you got pixel perfect you can see it change in the background but we're gonna click on that and then go out now pixel perfect makes it identical to the resolution of the Game Boy uh, and the screen size so it does look really really ultra pixelated when you are playing it full screen or whatnot but hey it's the original you still have the border and now if you click on that again we can go to screen settings now full full is interesting because I'm not sure how you can see it in the background but full screen slightly ever so slightly um, modifies the pixel perfect uh, version it stretches it just slightly but it seems like it looks a lot better in my opinion than the the standard so you have pixel perfect standard I, I, I wish it was a, a little more translucent so you can see through it but as you can see it it stretches from standard but it looks much closer I, I wish you could see that a little better but pixel perfect I prefer uh, the pixel perfect or the full. I'm not a big fan of the standard. Standard seems to be pretty warped, but uh, we're going to go with pixel perfect sake. Now you have your sound settings. You got uh, HQ control settings, which it's funny that they use the white Joy Con for the OLED, but hey, uh, you can reset, you can end your game. Encyclopedia, which is pretty nifty, it tells you what everything does in the game all the different weapons the only thing that bothers me about this is when you get these weapons they're no longer a surprise so you can actually see them here uh, all the souls in the game enemies and, it, and it's the same across all of them uh, you got your credits now your gadget setting this is a weird little thing that uh, when you're playing the game if you turn on, we'll, we'll actually jump into a game so you guys can see this. It gives you a little blip on the side, or a gadget, widget, whatever, that pops out. It's rather annoying in my opinion. Wallpaper. Wallpaper's nifty because instead of just the standard back black round, you can pick different ones. I think the ones that are a little more busy are a little more distracting to the eye. I think the Type C or the Type F is usually the best way to go, but I like the fact that they give you uh, the options. Play replay, well that speaks for itself. Load, so we'll do select data and as you can see now there's two sets of save. Save within the game and save without uh, outside the game. 
just in case something happens you have your initial game slot with on the little Game Boy Advance cartridges or in here your save menu as well so you can pick load and then as you can see it saves my exact location and time and version or you can just go back into the game do that and bam right here so we so in this one why now brings up your map before you only had a and b on the game boy advance and the shoulder buttons now uh y and x have been mapped with uh alternate features so that's why go back uh x now brings up your menu which normally would just be start and b and a are your attacks and jumps we we come on there we go there we go there we go we but visually these games are fantastic um i am playing this on a a monitor and it's just whew, the 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 sprites are very huge the pixels are massive but this was really meant to be played on the game boy advance i still think the game is Ooh, level up! A gorgeous game. Ha! There we go. So, start still brings this up, just like X. We're going to um, show you the gadgets. So, if you turn on... Whoops. You turn on the gadgets by pressing left or right, and then, ah, see, that annoys me. You have to hit A to confirm it and then get out. Then here we go, we'll go into the game. Ah. Nope. See, those are the gadgets now. That bothers the crap out of me that those things pop up because it's the same thing that you would normally get in the bottom of the screen. You still go up here. There we go. Yeah, I, I can't do any of the, the special feed, uh, special moves or anything. No! Uh, nope! I did that. Ah, oh, look how... Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, I'm out of it. There we go. Quick boss battle. Wee. Does everybody do that in every Castlevania game? You jump for it? I think so. So, um... You go here, you can equip your soul, your... You're just, it's, they, the game's the same. The game is pretty much the same. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we can hit the ZL button. Save on the fly. Overwrite. Bagoosh. And it goes right there. Uh, it, it, it's just... Yes, that's fine. Castlevania's great. Um... I, I don't really know what else to say besides oh that Castlevania classic that classic Konami oh brings back the nostalgia of the originals I really like the fact that they put Dracula X on here so to have this on here I just think is it, it the three original games are still so worth it but Oh, that is so cool. Oh, the soundtrack. No! No! 
Okay, here we go. I, I prefer the knives. Such a great Castlevania game. It... It really let up, in my opinion. There we go. Ah! No, I don't want the axes. Oh, look where it is. Okay. Same thing. We're going to look here. We're Now, this doesn't give you gadgets or encyclopedia or sound settings, but you can still do the same thing, and I will pick that. And I'm going to hit save. We're going to do the same thing. Just show you. It gives you on the save, uh, on the fly save. But the, the game is fantastic. Castlevania is uh, a great franchise, and this is definitely a great addition for 20 twenty dollars you can't beat it uh, especially if you have that uh, nostalgia for the Game Boy Advance games uh, four games yeah some people say oh but 20 bucks that's a lot for four old games no it's not it's fantastic for three oh look at that I just noticed that on the last played it actually shows uh, the main characters of each one ah that's so cool okay <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you think about the Castlevania Advance Collection. I think it is definitely worth the 20 bucks. It's a great little uh, addition to the to the Castlevania collection to have on your Switch. Now I guarantee you this is going to be re-released by limited run in a physical copy just like they did with the Castlevania collection. I'm going to purchase it. I'm going to purchase the big bad boy version of this one just because... I love this game. I love Castlevania, and I love Aria of Sorrow. It is my favorite, so I'm looking forward to that. We know it's just a matter of time, but hey, I suggest go pick it up. These games are all top-notch. Eight, nine, ten out of ten games. It's debatable, but average eight out of ten on all of them. So for $20, you're not wasting any money. If you've never played them but love the Castlevania games, this is a great way to pick them up. Because Aria of Sorrow, Harmony of Dissonance, if you have that double pack, that's hard to get. Uh, and Circle of the Moon, they're, they're not that cheap anymore. And Dracula X, come on. I mean, this is just the best way to play these classic Castlevania games. So... Yeah, drop your comments uh, down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Make sure to pick up some great shirts and whatnot uh, merchandise in our spring shop. Link in the description below. Like we always say, subscribe now. <laughs> Be legendary. Thanks again.